Now, with the drums trailing parallel congresses of the APC and the goings on in the PDP, one begins to wonder uh, what to expect in 2023. However, Nigerians are already eager to know how the next president will emerge. We are joining us to look at this and other issues. Uh, the Senior Special Assistant to former President Goodluck Jonathan, uh, Dr. Doi Okupe, to look at this and other uh, issues with us. Doctor, good evening. Thanks for joining us. On this hey, list. good evening. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Hope you're well too. Fine. Now, you've seen the Congresses. Uh, I, I, I wish we had uh, someone uh, else from the APC with us, but you've seen the Congress. Let me allow you to have a word, even though that's not your party. Uh, what do you make of the parallel events in the APC? Well, I, I, I understand your apprehension, but you know, I've been in this game for so long that um, we have risen to become elder statesmen. And I can assure you, I, when I want to make a comment on this type of issue, I'll be as objective as anyone can be. Uh, and let me also clear it right away. I mean, that um, parallel congresses are not uh, peculiar to APC. You know, you know the, the fact, it's, it's something that comes across board, APC, PDP, and also even the minority parties if you follow what goes on in the country politically. How would you say that? Of course, these are, you know, really florid signs and what, you know, as a medical practitioner, I say florid signs and symptoms of leadership failure, impunity, corruption, and indiscipline that has bedeviled the entire policy in the country. I mean, I, you know, I want you to take your mind back a bit. You know, in the days of uh, the Unity Party of Nigeria, when Chifobafe Maolo was uh, the leader yeah. of, of that party, uh -huh. and Akinoye was leader of MPN, it's, the issue of a parallel congress just is not, it's unthinkable. It is absolutely unthinkable. You know, because those who are the leaders of the party were authentic and they had powers. And you cannot, you cannot flagrantly you know, disregard the party. It's like, you know, let me, like, you know, you know, it's like, a, you know, a stream, you know, cutting off from its source is going to dry off. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, you know, the, the, the fact that our people, you know, it, it just, it's also, it's just a further reflection of the decadence that has bedeviled our society. You know, how far we have gone down. You know, I mean, a party is supposed to be established, mm -hmm. either in a ward, in a local government, or in a state. And there's a supervising authority. Body here. Yeah. yeah, which is the national. You understand my point? So mm -hmm. how do you have parallel Congress? That means two, two things has happened here. There's a failure of leadership. Mm -hmm. And also there's total indiscipline at the, at the local level. You know, there cannot be two chairmen of the same party in the same state. No. If, you know, people, if we are really, really and I, I, I'm saying this, I'm not, I'm not being partisan. I'm talking about PDP, I'm talking about APC. You know, we have become, you know, we, we, we money politics, indiscipline, and corruption has also now eaten into the canker worms and this inner, innermost structure of political parties in the country. So what do you get? I mean, what gives you a man or a group of people the confidence to go outside the dictates of the national secretariat and you go and hold press conference, I mean, you go and hold your own congresses? Ironically, I'll tell you, because I've been involved in these things. INEC, that's supposed to be the supervising body, will be present at the two sides. What kind of common? Does that make sense? Hmm. INEC should take instruction only from the national secretariat. That's right. And, you know, the national secretariat is the one that is empowered by all the constitutions to organize these conferences, and where they say is the venue of the con 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 Congress shall be and remain the venue of the Congress. This is, all, this is utter nonsense. Mm -hmm. This is what we do at party levels. This is what we take into government, you know? And that's why we cannot render service, you know, because we are not a disciplined people. You do your own Congress here, another person will do his own Congress here, then they all go, to, you know, the following day to the National Secretariat, share money, and, you know, use influences, and, you know, people start to talk uh, okay, share it this way or this. You know, before this time, you know, everybody knew that there was going to be a Congress today. Absolutely. Now, in all these states, the National Secretariat, Secretariat or Secretariats are aware that there are issues in those places. Yeah. So you move in. That's what we used to do in NRC. In NRC, they, they, it was, I, mean, I was part of the leadership of that party. 
I, 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 was, I was the National Police Secretary of the Party. I was a member of the National Working Committee. It's not possible. You, know, you can't, you know, unless it's your own father's party. If it is NRC, <laughs> it's not possible. Okay, now, now let, let, let me cut in there. Now, now when the APC began to have um, issues with their internal politics, uh, people, Nigerians, began to think that the PDP, your party, would take advantage of that. You know, to to make something we else. We can't happen. take advantage. It's Nigerians on the on the left side and Nigerians on the right side, and you know we operate in the same policy. We are the same people, and we act the same way. We have become a very you know indisciplined people nationally in all spheres. It's not just in politics. Mm. In everything that we do, Nigerians have become highly you know undisciplined. You know, we do not we, we act with impunity. Mm -hmm. We've got no respect for law or order or you know good order of society. And we believe in the instrumentality of money. You go to the national secretariat and you know is the man who pays highest, you know, that his 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 uh, his uh, list, team list is accepted. Now look oh. looking at this, looking at the, the whole uh, situation, looking at uh, uh, having a holistic uh, view of um, the polity and the politics uh, going on, uh, internal politics especially, with the APC and the PDP. Uh, how is your party, the PDP, planning to take advantage of, of all this uh, for a comeback? Is there, is there a, a, a grand plan? When I say this also, I'm also very sincere and serious that, yes, there are parallel congresses in APC and all that. There are lesser of it in PDP is also a fact. Yeah. It's not because I'm PDP. Mm -hmm. But you know, parallel congresses do not determine the success or other failure of the parties at the grassroots level. Because at the end of the day, once the candidates emerge and the sectors, I mean the, the various national authorities take charge and they say this is the governorship candidate, this is the social, social uh, the senate candidate, now the, you know the ball game changes. Mm -hmm. You know, the electorates are not interested in who is controlling party structure. They're interested, who is the candidate? And once they, just, they see the candidate, then people take a decision, who did they follow? So, you know, you know it's now left to the type, I mean, the, the, the perception of your party at the electorate level, you know, your, the type of candidates you have chosen, you know, and the, 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 the response of the electorate. So, you know, putting all that together, uh, it is easy for me, it is, I mean, I had a few of my friends just on this television now saying, now oh, APC, you know, we're going to win, we're going to come back and all that. Is, that is not that here nor there. What will determine who comes back is the perception of the electorate. Dr. Kupai. Yes, sir. Tell me, uh, is your principal secretly planning to join the APC? Who, me? Your principal. Oh, 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 you mean uh, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan? I have heard that. And uh, I can say categorically that it is highly improbable. Nothing is impossible in politics. You know, only interests are permanent. You know, nothing is impossible, but I think it is highly improbable. I, I, I can say that with some level of confidence. I can't say beyond that. So um, you... Well, if it's a secret plan, I probably don't expect you to come out oh, and say, okay, he's planning to join or... Uh... I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Look, God, uh, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, by God's grace and providence, has become not just a national icon, it has become also an international figure. All right? You know, a couple of days ago, he's been made an ambassador, you know, by, by you know, a committee of nations and all that you know, for peace or something around the world, you know, or, you understand? So when you get to that level of recognition globally, you don't now descend into mud. You know, coming into real active politics and politicking is coming into, into a very murky area. You know, if you have gotten out of that and you have been sort of elevated beyond that level, it is not reasonable that you will descend again. That would be like a plane, you know, uh, having a, a, uh, an emergency landing. <laughs> so do you want to tell us who, who is the PDP uh, fielding in 2023? As president. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. Let's wait till then. OK, no problem. All right, then. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Doyle Kukwe, for joining us on the news tonight. God bless you. Thank you. I, I love this studio, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank Let you. Let me say that. Thank you very much. Right. So we, we hope to see more of you then. Surely. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.